We are here at the Barrel Elites Conference in New York City, and I'd like to welcome Ruben Falk from Amazon Web Services. Ruben, thank you for joining us. Great. So to get things started, can you tell us a little bit about what you do for Amazon Web Services? Yeah, Capital Markets uh, Specialist Team. So we're a team of industry experts that help our clients connect um, business problems with our technology solutions. So we're hearing a lot about all this new tech coming up, which is AI and so on. Can you tell us a few use cases which you actually deploy with yeah. clients? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So some of the more popular use cases are in the area of client service, right? So think you're having a conversation with a client and the AI is listening into the conversation and is generating queries against the knowledge base from the conversation. And then as the agent or the wealth manager, you can now get articles and summaries of those articles brought up as part of the, the conversation, you can potentially relay uh, those summaries to the client if you think they're relevant, right? So think about it as sort of playing chess with Kasparov, whispering in your ears. That's one use case. Another use case is just sort of research assistance, right? So you're doing numerical research or you're doing qualitative research and with generative AI, you're able to access all this information much more easily, much more speedily, uh, including, you know, you know that these models are not good at math, but it'll translate natural language questions into code, execute that code, bring back dashboards or numerical uh, information in table form and so forth, right? So you can use it for both numerical and qualitative research, and you can access much more information much more quickly uh, than otherwise you would have been able to. And lastly, there are a lot of use cases around uh, structured data, so extracting structured data from unstructured text and being able to do that much more easily now with generative AI. So now we can have new data sources that can be used either for quant uh, investment processes or for more traditional uh, discretionary processes with data that otherwise wouldn't have been accessible. 